Good evening, Governing Board members. Um, the district recently announced that the Mexican American culturally relevant courses will be offered at three high schools, which is one third of what is required under the desegregation court order. Um, if a student received 33% on a test, you know what they would get as a grade. So 33% is not faring too well. This is not even a half-hearted effort. It also seems that the district plans to offer only literature CRCs to start off the year, which is also non-compliant with what is required for the social studies government CRCs. These measly actions are void of good faith, the good faith that is essential in resolving a 35-year old desegregation order. What is being proposed is fractional to what is required by the federal desegregation court order. During the desegregation unitary status plan forums, hundreds of individuals voiced their support for Mexican American perspective-based literature and social studies courses. The proposed curriculum has recently undergone broad peer review, which was most favorable. It was not expected that TUSD would agree to have the Arizona Department of Education review the Mexican American CRC curriculum. This is not a required ste step relative to the court order or what is standard curriculum approval practice. And surprisingly, another layer of public input for MA CRCs has been added. Once again, Mexican American curriculum is being negatively singled out. This step should be eliminated as should the ADE review process since it has not been imposed on other curriculum. What's fair for one is fair for the other. There, these are time consuming bureaucratic processes and provide for more time delay excuses. Governing board members. Please direct the superintendent to effectively implement the USP in full. Not selectively, not partially, but in full. Eliminate the time delay barriers which only end up creating more unacceptable excuse excuses for faulty implementation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.